Y'all are looped. Sixth chapter, run hurriedly down to that 35th verse. I want to read two verses, 35 and uh, 36, and, and we'll, we'll try to glean from that uh, our argument for, for this morning. If, if you have it, signify it by saying amen. 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 Come on, read it with me. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and live, hoping for nothing again. And reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. You may take your seats uh, on this morning. I want to preach to your hearts so from the subject of But there is nothing wrong with, with saying thank you. There, there is nothing wrong with, with saying thank you. The book of the book of Luke, the book of Luke is a very unique book in the sense that it was written by a, a Greek or Syrian a fellow who was a traveling companion of the Apostle Paul. It is unique in the sense that it's the only book in the Bible that, that God allowed a non-Jew to read. It is unique because Luke, uh, in his trade, he was a physician. He, he was a doctor. By trade and being a doctor, he was very detail oriented, and, and therefore it was the longest and most comprehensive book of the New Testament. Luke, he, he, in his book, he, he placed emphasis on prayer. I, I mean, we can't stress that enough. That that, that we are uh, sending up some prayers. That we send up some prayers. He placed emphasis on miracles. He also placed emphasis on uh, angels as well. And, and, and another thing that highlights the book of Luke, that it gives prominence and prestige and prolification to women in ministry. I should have gotten there more than this is women much, right? I, I mean, the book of Luke is the book where, where he, he talked about a lot of women, some names, some women. I mean, he talked about it. You remember her? She, she was John the Baptist's mother, who happened to be the cousin of Mary. Jesus' mother. He talked about her. He talked about Mary and Martha. You remember those two sisters? Who are? You remember them? Elijah's sister. He talked about them. He, he talked about uh, Mary Magdalene. I don't know what those names out here. Those real bad ones. Susanna. Joanna. You remember them? There, there were some women who was with uh, 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 Mary Magdalene when she went and told the apostles that Jesus had got up out of the grave. That, that's something the name of a women that he mentioned in the book. And then, then like I said, there's unnamed women he, he talked about. You remember Peter, Peter, uh, mother-in-law? We don't know her name, but he talked about her. Uh, and you remember uh, the little poor widow who put in her two mites? He, he talked about her. He, he talked about the women, the woman in the well who was caught in adultery. He, he talked about uh, the woman who had the infirmity for 18 long years. He talked about her. I mean, this is women's mind. I mean, this, this is women's mind. And Luke gave a place to, to these women. He, he talked about uh, uh, women, women on top of women. And he talked about men and women alike. And, and, and that's one good thing I, I like about the book of Luke, too. He, he stressed Jesus' relationship with people as a whole. Yeah. And you know, when I think about people, I'm reminded of a story. Uh, that was a, a man. Who sold hot dogs? On the corner. He, he sold hot dogs on the corner. And, and he only charged 50 cents for, for, for the hot dogs. And, and there was another man who would jog by his stand every day, put 50 cents in, but he never took a hot dog. This went on for quite some time. And, and one day out of the blue, the, the, the man selling the hot dogs. Stop the man, and, and the man caught his breath, and he said, I mean, he had been running, he was catching his breath, he, he said, I bet you want to know why I never take a hot dog, don't you? And the man said, the hot dog said, no, I want to tell you that they went up to 60 cents.
as funny as and, and as funny as that story was, and as hard as it made us laugh, the sad fact of the matter is so many of us treat God the same way. Now, now, now we're grateful what, for what he's already done. We trouble God for yet even more. Uh, I, I don't know about you, but, but this spirit of ungratefulness has plagued us. I mean, my, I mean, let me just deal with my sisters for a second. I mean, you, you, you have felt undeserving, unappreciated, ungrateful, the people you encounter. Hey, let me just tell you this. I don't know about you, but I don't know if you had the sad displeasure of visiting your restaurant. And when you place your order, the person taking your order was so rude and so unkind to you that you lost your appetite. All right. All right. All right. How about this one? How about this one? Parents, uh, when you, that child that you went without, that you decided that you would eat ass to get them some nights, to get them a polo shirt that, that, that you suffered and went without so they wouldn't get it. And as soon as they get old enough to make a complete sinners, they turn around and disrespect you. Ungrateful. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here's another. Let me tell you about this. What about this job you work in? You go in, go in early, stay late, go in on your off days, work, give them all you got, and, and turn around, and as soon as they decide they're going to downside, you the first one that comes to mind to let go. Just did it with me. Ungrateful. Un ungrateful. Okay, let me bring it home. Oh, what about church? How about church? You pour your heart into a ministry. You give your all. You, 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 you hear when ain't nobody in here that's doing it all. And the pastor recognizes everybody except you. Ungrateful. Play by a spirit of ungratefulness. Okay, one more. I'm gonna leave that alone. Hey, husband and wife. Mary J. said this way, Kim. Uh, you, I was in love and in seventeen. <laughs> Working every day uh -huh. of the week. Little Mary J. I had something to say for the little Mary J. Here. Uh, my mom talked to us who 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 who, 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 who had heard. What Mary J said about that. And, and, and she did all that only to discover the first time she burnt the biscuits, she ready to leave. Ungrateful as I want us to look at our text. And that's what I want to shed some light on today. I want to talk about ungratefulness. I want to show us three things about ungratefulness that they're prevalent. It'll help us along the way. Because uh, uh, I even know it, it, it's women, my it's a men that, that, that suffer from the same thing. You work in two jobs in a paper route. And, and the first time you said no to that don't it broke, uh, she got her head turned off. Yeah. You can't get a meal. Somebody shout back. Set the tone here because that would be mad with me, but y'all know I'm going to be walking to All of us have suffered from the hands of one great before. I know since us looking at one another's strange because all of us have suffered from ungratefulness. But, but I want us to look at the text and I want to show three things and, and we're going on to the house. Uh, the church here, yeah, we're going home early. Because uh, I ain't got but a few pages. I'm going to sit here and say, here we go. Because it starts with what? Yeah. You know, that's a transitional word. Yeah. That, 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 that could be an adverb, could be a conjunction, yeah. uh, uh, or could be an interjection, or in this case, a, a, a preposition. Right. So, so, so we're going to be careful about the but. It, it, the text says, but love ye your enemies. Uh -huh. First thing about this ungratefulness is, is problematic. Let, let me explain to you to see if I can help you this way. It, it, it's, it's problematic. It said, love ye your enemies. Now, now, uh, uh, what might have been all right if you said, love my wife, lo love my children, lo love my church family. But, but he said, love ye your enemies. Now, now, 
Yeah, this ain't no, there's no any kind of love. Let, let me tell you about love. You know, love has several meanings. So several meanings. One meaning is, is eros. Eros, when we get out of here, you're right. I don't know how to explain that. You know that, you know that kind of love between two lovers. Uh, uh, then there's another one, Phileos. Phileos, that's, that's uh, what we get out of here in uh, Philadelphia. It's a, a brotherly type of love. You love me, I love you. You love us, she love me, and we, we in love. That, that, that kind of love. And then there's another one, Sturgeos. Sturgeos, this is a family relative type of love. You know, the love you got for that crazy, cankerous, uh, contagious cousin you got. That, that, that you got to keep on loving them because y'all are blood cousins. Like, and then mama's true, y'all cook. <laughs> so that, that, that's the kind of, that's another, but, but the, the love that's spoken about here is agape. Yeah. Agape love. That, that's a godly, unconditional love. And that's what the God is commanding us in the text. Uh, uh, see, he's telling us to love our enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Love the man that stole your hood. Yeah. Love, love, love the wife. Love, love the woman that stole your hood. Look, 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 the loan officer that foreclosed on your house. Look, love that person that burglarized your house. Look, love that person who murdered your loved one. Love the person that, and I don't know about you, but that poses a problem for me. I, I struggle with that. I, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm going to be a little transparent. I struggle with loving those who love me. Listen, listen, this, this is serious stuff that we're dealing with here. We're, we're dealing with a serious uh, spirit of ungratefulness. And, and, and God, you know, he, he, he wouldn't give us an assignment that we could complete. That that's the one good thing and the loving thing about God that we serve. It says, love ye your enemies. Love, love the person you know don't like you. The, the person you know trying to get you fired. The person you know let that dog mess in your yard. Love, love, he, your enemies. Yeah, if that don't pose a problem, look back at the text and say, and do good. Well, now I'm talking about it too. Bad enough that I can love. You know, you can love folks from a distance. I know they work on me, so I'm just going to take your vacation day. And, and I get by, I got a few saved up. And I can miss them. But, but then, and not only that, it says to do good. They got a wrong number call you for a reference on your end. Do good. Okay, I lost about 75% of my life. You know, I struggle with this message. I, I, I'm serious. I need, I, I love ye your enemies. Yeah. And then he went further to say, do good. Now, if it, that's not a problem for you, let me take you, come here, look. look. It says, and lend. Oh, oh, for nothing to me. This ain't no lend like we know. You know, I lend you this, when you gonna pay it back? I know you cool, but sign right here. Just in case we end up in small places for it. Yeah, lean and do he said, listen to this challenge. And this is great. Yeah. And if it's read in your Bible, it's read in Bible, it's Jesus commanding us to love our enemies. He said, love your enemies. Do good. Do do good. Speak high up. Be kind to them. You want something back from the snack machine? I'm gonna go to the snack machine. You want something back? I'm going to quote. You want something back? Can I get you anything? She is a good worker. He, he, he is a good worker. Can you do good? Still not a problem. He said, let him some. Don't even expect it. I don't know why God didn't just put give. Because a lot of us, when we do let it, they don't give back no way. You mad at your sister right now for some money. She she borrowed from you years ago. You still mad about this stuff. 
broke the lease on the park. You 